Being a parent can feel like being turned into an ATM machine each week with new requests for money. But I've got a secret weapon, a portfolio of 12 dividend stocks that puts cash in my pocket every single week. 12 stocks to keep the cash flowing. In this video, I'll show you the 12 stocks in that dividend stock portfolio, explain how this strategy works, and how to use it for cash flow every week. Hey Bowtie Nation, Joseph Hoke here, updating one of the most popular videos on the channel with a new list of dividend stocks that will pay you every week. Imagine that, knowing you've got cash flow coming into your account every single week, money you can count on to pay the bills or just relax a little. These 12 stocks I'll show you today can produce a 6.2% average dividend yield. That's three times the yield on the overall stock market. We're getting started, but before we do, you know I've got to send that special shout out to all you out there in the nation. Thank you for spending a part of your day to be here. If you're not part of that community yet, just click that little red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss an episode. Our first dividend stock is one of the largest financial companies in the world, JP Morgan, ticker JPM, for its 3.15% dividend yield. Now that dividend yield is actually lower than most of the stocks on this list, but, but I do like the bank for its valuation and stability of cash flows. JP Morgan manages over $3 trillion in assets in its wealth management segment and booked $12.2 billion in revenue in the first quarter in consumer banking alone. And one thing you'll notice in this dividend list that I've tried to pull stocks from different sectors and industries. You see, the problem with dividend investing is if you just chase those stocks with the highest dividend yields, you're gonna end up with the stocks only in a few industries like real estate, business development corporations, and energy. And that is gonna leave your portfolio and your dividends in danger of a crash if anything happens to those particular industries. So even though stocks in some of those industries like traditional banks aren't gonna pay the highest yield, you wanna include a few of these for that dividend safety and diversification. Here's the dividend information for these shares, and I'll show you how to find this in a minute. JP Morgan has doubled its dividend over the past five years and typically goes ex-dividend in the first week of January, April, July, and October. The average analyst target of $159 per share would mean a 27% return over the next year on top of that 3% dividend yield, and the high target puts it at $200 each. From the lowest to one of the highest dividend yields with global net lease, and it's 10.5% yield. Now, GNL is unique among real estate investment trusts in that it has that diversified international portfolio. Most REITs are almost exclusively US focused, but here you have over 309 properties, more than 39 million square feet across the US, Canada, and Europe. Now properties have a 99% occupancy rate, which is extremely high, and that's spread out over 138 tenants in 51 industries. So you've got that diversification you need, not only geographically, but your risk is spread out so that a crisis in any one industry isn't gonna hurt the stock. Now, I also like that 54% of the portfolio is in the industrial and distribution segment, which is a huge growth market for real estate right now. And I believe that office property is probably going to surprise higher as we move past the pandemic. So, so 42% weight here could further support the shares. These shares usually pay their dividend in the second week of that January, April, July, and October schedule. Now, I'll explain how I put this dividend list together later, but you're going to see as we work through. I'm finding stocks that pay in specific weeks of specific months to fill out our calendar for cash flow every week. The average analyst price target for global net lease is at $18 a share, so you've got a potential for a 21% upside on top of that dividend, and this is one of my favorites for a long-term cash flow. Now understand, for this video, I am just focusing on those 12 dividend stocks to buy for that weekly cash flow. For a step-by-step -step to creating that portfolio where you can live off your dividends, I'm gonna to link to another video in the description below, so make sure you check that out. Gladstone Commercial Corporation, ticker G-O-O-D, is a favorite here on the channel, not only for its 6.6% dividend yield, but because it pays out on a monthly basis. So you're gonna receive that dividend every month around the third week. So with this one and another monthly payer in the list, you're gonna be doubling up on your dividend check in two weeks of each month. The company owns more than 15 million square feet at 122 properties in 28 states across the US. Leases are spread across 106 tenants in 19 industries, so also extremely diversified. Now, occupancy here has held at 96.6% and the average lease term of seven and a half years 
means even a more severe recession should support the rent. The average analyst price target is only for about 12% higher, but that's on top of that solid dividend and a stable cash flow stock. We've been following ConAgra Brands, ticker CAG on the channel for a few years, and for its 3.5% dividend yield. The company is a leader in the frozen foods and snack categories with market share positions in several top brands. Shares of food companies have been hit hard over the last year on inflation, but are now starting to produce higher earnings and are in value territory. ConAgra is trading for 16.8 times on a price to earnings basis, a 10% discount to its five year average. Shares go ex dividend in the fourth week of that January, April, August, and October period, and analysts have a target price as high as $40 per share, with an average at $36 each. We've still got eight more dividend stocks to round out your portfolio and produce those weekly dividends, but I wanted to explain a little how this works, and we're gonna start with how dividends are paid. With dividend stocks, there's three dates you need to know about if you're gonna be investing in these. These are the declaration date, the ex-dividend date, and then the payment date. I'll show you what each of these means and how to find them for a stock. The declaration date is when the board of directors of a company announces that dividend. Here, they're also going to tell investors when the other two dates occur. The great thing about dividend stocks is that most of them try to stay extremely consistent with these dates, declaring a dividend in the same week every three months and every year. And that gives you as an investor the opportunity to create a portfolio like this one, a portfolio of the right stocks that is going to schedule a dividend payment every week. The most important date for dividend investors is called the ex-dividend date. Now, that is the first day the stock trades without the dividend. Now pay attention to that. It means you need to own the shares on the day before that to get the dividend. So everyone that owns the stock at the close of the market on the day before the ex-dividend date is gonna get paid. If you buy the stock on the ex-dividend date or after, you're asked out. So make sure you understand this if you buy these stocks. Last here is the payment date, and that's usually gonna be a couple of weeks after the ex-dividend date, but it may still be a week before that money hits your investing account. Now, most of this won't be a big deal if you're gonna buy these stocks and then hold them for years because that dividend date is gonna come around every three months like clockwork, and you're gonna get the payment in your account. The only time it's going to matter is if you're adding or are selling your stocks in the account. Next on our dividend stocks list is New York Community Bank Corp, ticker NYCB, for its 6.8% yield, one of the highest in banking. The bank is a leading producer of multifamily loans in New York with 50 years in the market and is aggressively expanding nationally with its Flagstar Bank acquisition announced last year. It now has over 400 branches and $87 billion in assets across eight states. The stock here goes ex-dividend in that first week of the February, May, August, and November period, so it's going to hit your account about a month after. I'm watching bank stocks closely this year because as interest rates climb higher, this could be one of the only industries to actually benefit. A higher rates mean banks make more money on their loans, and NYCB already books excess capital generation of $500 million a year after paying the dividend. To be fair, the share price hasn't done much over the last few years, but now trades for just 0.72 times on that price to book value, well under where most banks are trading and firmly in value territory. The average analyst target of $13.75 a share is more than 38% higher on top of nearly 7% dividend. Arbor Realty Trust, ticker ABR, is another strong real estate company with an 8.25% dividend for our list. Arbor is a direct lender to multifamily, senior housing, and healthcare and other commercial real estate properties. Multifamily projects make up about 83% of the portfolio, so that's a little on the high side, but these are all agency-backed loans, so definitely the safety that you want to see in a mortgage REIT. Arbor has grown that dividend by 16% annually over the last five years on sales growth of 20% a year. With the rise in residential prices, rents on multifamily should be rising as well, and loan growth should continue higher. The stock goes ex-dividend usually around the middle of the month in February, May, August, and November, though this one isn't quite as consistent as the others. It's why I also wanted to include a few monthly dividend stocks in our list, just, just to make sure we double up on some of the weeks for safety. Analysts have a target price of just under $21 a share, which would be almost a 20% upside to that current price. Our first utility company on the list, Southern Company, ticker SO, pays a 3.6% dividend yield. Now, the company operates as a regulated electric utility, serving more than 4 million customers in Georgia, Alabama, and Mississippi, along with 4.4 million customers in natural gas. Southern is one of the most aggressive in the utilities industry for its push into clean energy. In 2000, nearly 80% of the company's electricity generation came from coal. 
Today, it's just over 20% and the company is pushing further into nuclear, natural gas, and renewables than anyone else. Now, like a lot of the banks, the utility companies don't pay the highest dividend yields, but it's important to get that diversification, adding a few of these to the portfolio. The stock goes ex-dividend in the third week of that February, May, August, and November period. The shares have jumped recently and analyst targets are only for about $73 each on average, but, but I think this one continues to produce that stable return along with the dividend. Newell Brands, ticker NWL, is another dividend stock I picked for its stability and that cash flow that produce a 4.1% yield. And Newell is way more than just its Rubbermaid brand with over 25 brands and $10 billion in sales across 10 countries. It's a strong consumer goods leader with some international diversification for your portfolio. Shares go X dividend in the last week of that February, May, August, and November period, and the average analyst target of $28 a share leaves room for a 22% upside to the price. We've still got four more dividend stocks on our list, but I wanted to make sure you know how I found these and how to use the strategy. Like we've talked about, the dividend stocks pay out each year on extremely consistent schedules. Dividend investors love that certainty and the consistency, so directors of these companies try to declare and pay those dividends on the same week every three months, even some of them on the same day. That means you can put together a list of your top dividend stocks, and then all it takes is going to a site like Yahoo Finance or, or any investing platform. You go to the stock, and here I'm going to use the historical data tab. I can change the time period over to the last five years, and over here to show dividends only, then the site is gonna show me the ex-dividend date of every dividend payment over the last five years. And you can see these are consistently the same time during the same months. Shares of Apple go ex-dividend generally towards the end of that first week in February, May, August, and November. So once you have that list of when your favorite dividend stocks go ex-dividend, you can plan it out so you have stocks going ex-dividend at different weeks of the month. This, of course, means that you're going to get those payments about one month after each. Now, do understand that companies can change these dates, so you need to watch and adjust this if you notice your dividends are off, which is why I like to include some monthly payers as well. This is a, just a great way to make sure you've got cash flow that you can count on, though. Back to our dividend stocks list, and Devon Energy, ticker DVN, has been one of my favorites in the energy space for years, now paying a 7.3% dividend yield. Devon is a leading oil producer in three states, North Dakota, Texas, and Delaware. With oil spiking over the last two years, these assets have become cash flow machines, and like most oil companies right now, Devon is choosing to return that cash to their shareholders rather than acquiring assets at higher prices. Free cash flow quadrupled since its merger with WPX last year, and it's forecasting even stronger cash flow this year. At $95 per barrel oil, well under the current price, the company is going to grow free cash flow by 17% this year, and prices could fall to $30 a barrel before the company is operating at a loss. This all helped Devon increase its share buyback program to $1.6 billion, nearly triple what it bought back last year, and continue its history of dividend growth. Not only does Devon Energy pay a strong 7% dividend yield, but it's increased it from just $0.06 cents to $1 a share in the last five years an increase of nearly 1,600%. It's going ex-dividend here in the first week of March, June, September, and December period. Now, I was actually surprised looking at the analyst targets here with an average price of $72 a share, or 28% higher. With that recent surge in oil prices and this stock, I wouldn't expect that much upside price potential, but it's gonna be a strong dividend payer anyway. Camping World Holdings, ticker CWH, is another stock we highlighted recently on its huge dividend growth and now paying a 9.6% yield. While the stock price has been volatile, dividend payments from CWH have increased steadily from just over seven cents a share in 2017 to 62 cents each for a 756% increase over the last five years. It's going ex-dividend around the second week of that March, June, September, and December period. The company has been serving RV consumers since 1966 through its network of dealers and service centers and has booked 14% annualized revenue growth since 2016. New vehicles make up about half the revenue, but it's also got a good source of recurring revenue here with these services, finance, and insurance programs. The company controls a 20% market share in the RV market, a commanding lead in a market that's growing by 10% a year. Between retirements in the baby boomer generation and the trend to RV living with some of the younger generations, more than 11 million U.S. households now own an RV. This one also has one of the highest potential upsides in our dividend stocks list, with an average target of $42 each, 
or about 64% return from here. And this next one is a controversial one, but Altria Group, ticker MO, is hard to pass up on its 6.5% dividend and stable cash flows. Now, while cigarette volumes are on a downward trend, pricing has kept up, so the company's cash flows are extremely stable. And plus, it's got those moonshot investments in vaping and cannabis that are gonna help the business grow in the future. For example, the company has a $1.8 billion stake in cannabis company Kronos Group that, that gives it a 45% share of the company, basically setting it up for a future acquisition. It also owns 10% of the Anheuser-Busch company, which gives it that steady growth into the alcoholic beverage market. Shares go ex-dividend around the third week of the March, June, September, and December period, with, with the dividend coming in a few weeks after. Analysts aren't quite as bullish on the stock, though, with an average target of $55 a share, right around the current stock price. It's not a stock that's going to make you rich, but that high dividend yield is one of the most stable in the market. Realty Income, ticker O, is one of the most popular dividend stocks among investors with a monthly payout and a 4% dividend yield. Realty Income has 50 years of operating history and owns over 6,000 properties in 49 states, Puerto Rico, and the United Kingdom. And even though 83% of its rental revenue is from retail spaces, I'm okay with this one because it's diversified across some of those safer types of retail property like convenience, dollar stores, drug, and grocery. Lease terms average nine years, and occupancy has never been below 96% for the properties. Rent growth isn't terrifically strong at around 1% annualized, but, but it's consistent and it supports the dividend. Now, that dividend isn't the highest among REITs, but investors love the monthly payouts, and the company has reported 88 consecutive quarterly increases. Now, that 4.5% annualized dividend growth has beaten the 2.9% average for REITs, so expect this one to just keep on paying. It's going ex-dividend in the last week of the month, which means you know you'll always have a dividend check coming to cover the first of the month's rent payment. Now, if you want to see more of these monthly dividend stocks, I've got another video highlighting my seven favorites that are going to help you pay the bills. I'll link to that in the description below. Here's the entire list of dividend stocks, 12 stocks that will produce a dividend check every week of the year. This dividend portfolio will produce a 6.16% cash payment, and they're consistent enough that you can count on. Now, Nation, I do want to warn you here, though. These are solid dividend-paying stocks that will not only put cash in your pocket, but help grow your portfolio, but they can't perform miracles. I'm going to get a lot of questions and comments on the video asking how much to invest to make like $1,000 a week, and people aren't going to like the answer. You cannot put $1,000 in dividend stocks and expect to retire on it. Let's be realistic here, folks. Even a 10% yield on $100,000 in stocks is only about $830 a month, and most safe stocks that are good investments aren't going to pay even that much. I have over half a million dollars in dividend stocks and collect nearly $500 a week just in those payouts, but, but that's money I worked for and saved for over 20 years. Why I picked the stocks in this list is because they increase their share price along with the dividends. They do it consistently, and you're gonna be able to grow that into a great weekly dividend check. Click on the video to the right for a step-by-step -step to creating a dividend portfolio you can live off, how to create a dividend snowball that pays the bills. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.